Hi, one thing I love about books is that they can take you to places that you've never been before. They can also remind you of places that you have been. And this book that I found reminds me of somewhere I went. This is called Landon Rides the Subway. And when I saw this book, it reminded me of when I was 17 years old and I went to Moscow. And when I was at Moscow, we visited the subway stations and they were beautiful. They were like palaces. And that's what this reminds me of. This book was written by somebody that teaches the same place I teach. Her name is Diana Perez. And whenever I heard that she wrote this book, I said, well, I would like to read that on my channel. Would that be okay? And she said I could. She sent one to me. And this book's even signed, which makes it extra special. It says, for the personal collection of Ray Ann McDonald, this book is for the enjoyment of the children you love so much. <laughs> and I have a lot of children that I love. <laughs> so I thought I'd share it with you. So here it goes. Today was an exciting day. The sun was shining, the birds were chirping, and Landon's mom had promised to take him to the museum. He had heard so much about the museum. Big dinosaur bones, a room full of butterflies, and a giant whale hanging off the ceiling. Not only were they going to the museum, they were going to ride the subway. <sighs> Look how happy he is. Oh, he's so excited. He gets to go on an adventure. <gasps> Landon held his mom's hand as they hurried down the long stairs. Under the big city he loved so much, Landon heard music playing. He saw people dancing and there was even a clown. What a great place this was. It was a whole new world. Mom looked for the right sign and found the way to the train. Here they are, they're going down. They're at the 79th Street and they're going to the Museum of Natural History uptown in the Bronx. The train was roaring through the tunnel so fast. Landon could see the train lights getting closer. <laughs> the train was here. The doors opened and everyone walked onto the train. The doors closed. And off they went to the museum, Landon and his mom. Landon looked all around the train. It was magical. All of a sudden, a man started singing. It was a beautiful song. Landon had heard this song before. It was a song from one of his favorite favorite movies. Do you think you know what movie it was from? Hmm. The next stop came and the conductor said it was the stop for the museum. Landon and his mom got off the train. 81st Street Museum hmm, of Natural History. That's what I imagine is behind his cute little head. <laughs> The man behind the counter handed Landon his ticket to the museum. Wow, look at those dinosaurs, said Landon. The museum was more amazing than Landon had imagined. I love you, Mama, and I love you, Landon. Mama, the subway can take you to some really fun places. The end. It did. It took him to the museum. I bet there are a lot of wonderful places that the subway can take Landon. I hope you enjoyed that book. I know I sure did. And if you want to get one, I'll leave the link down below and you can order one. Wouldn't that be nice to have that in your personal library to share with the people that you love? Anyhow, I hope that you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you later. Bye.